Hey everyone, good morning. It is Tim Shermack. I'm the author of the book High Hanging Fruit as well as the CEO of Platform Marketing. So just wanted to welcome everyone to the High Hanging Fruit webinar this morning. Uh, if you're here to get a free copy of the book High Hanging Fruit, you are in the right place. This is a 100% uh, live webinar. It is the Tuesday after Thanksgiving. Uh, what we see, it's November 27th, 2018. So Thanksgiving was just, uh, just this last week, and the Bears, uh, the Bears beat the Detroit Lions on Thanksgiving Day. The only reason I'm sharing that information with you is I want to confirm that this is uh, a live webinar, right? This is not a recording from a month ago or a year ago. This is a hundred percent live webinar. This morning, it is the Tuesday after Thanksgiving, 2018. All right. So, again, if you're here to get a free copy of the book High Hanging Fruit, I just want to let you know right away you are in the right place. My name is Tim Shermack. I'm the author of High Hanging Fruit as well as the uh, CEO of Platform Marketing. So what we're gonna do this morning is I'm gonna hop uh, into a PowerPoint presentation. I'm, I'm gonna teach you about some of the specific marketing strategies uh, and lead gen strategies for realtors from the book High Hanging Fruit. And at the end of the webinar, everyone is going to get a free copy of the book, all right? We're actually gonna send you a real copy. It's a 200 page book. You know, It's not like an ebook download or it's not just like a 20 or 30 page ebook, right? It's a legit book. We're going to send it to you. So stay tuned to the end of the webinar. We'll tell you how to get that. But in the meantime, I'm going to deliver a marketing training that I feel is actually worth thousands of dollars. Typically when people hire me for consulting, I charge about $4,000 a day. And so I'm attempting to condense all of those marketing strategies here into the next hour into this marketing training. So if you take notes, I really think that the webinar this morning about the high hanging fruit marketing strategy is gonna set you up to have 2019 be the biggest year of your real estate career. So give me one second guys, I'm gonna hop into a screen share here so you can see my PowerPoint slides and let's dive into this high hanging fruit marketing training. Awesome, you should be able to see my screen now. Uh, I'm gonna hop into, into SlideShare here. And so right away, again, if you're just joining us, everyone is going to get a free copy of the book, High Hanging Fruit. My name is Tim Shermack. Uh, I'm the author of the book as well as the founder and a CEO of Platform Marketing. So let's answer the question right away. What is High Hanging Fruit? Uh, one of the most annoying things to me is when you hop on a webinar, right? And it's just fluff for the first half hour. So let's just dive right into the substance here. What is High Hanging Fruit? You know, and don't we want low hanging fruit? <laughs> Well, high hanging fruit is this contrarian marketing idea that tells us that if we're building out a marketing plan for your business, right, that we would actually rather have leads that are maybe three or four months out than leads that are ready to go in theory this week, right? Most agents want the low hanging fruit in their business. And that's why Zillow has such a massive business because Zillow essentially auctions off low hanging fruit to agents. Right. So I, I define low hanging fruit as leads that are ready to go like this week or this month. Right. It's a lead that if we're um, at the very end of November right now, we're almost in December 2018. A low hanging fruit lead is someone who's like planning on buying even before the end of the year. Right. They're not six months out. They're not even 90 days out. They're probably ready to buy or sell within the month. Right. And so that's why agents across the industry are obsessed with, you know, marketing. Uh, strategies like you know going after expired listings right or going after fisbos because expired listings and for sale by owners or just buying leads off of zillow that's low hanging fruit typically all things being equal those are marketing activities that could lead to business that's ready to go this month right it's low hanging fruit at least in theory uh here's where things get interesting and here's why uh we developed this high hanging fruit marketing strategy is that it, it's great in theory but the problem is if going after expired listings, you know, or buying buying a bunch of impressions from Zillow, if that's if that's the easy way to get low hanging fruit, you know, if that's the easy way to get business that's ready to go right now, paradoxically, that's actually the hardest business to get. Those are the hardest leads to convert because that's where all the competition is. So if you're taking notes, write that down. The problem with low hanging fruit, which is what honestly ninety nine percent of the real estate industry does, they go after that low hanging fruit. You know, they sit open houses on weekends. They, uh, you know, buy leads from Zillow. They're calling expired listings, you know, for hours every day. 
The problem is that in theory it works, but if that's what all the competition is doing, then very quickly those become uh, the hardest leads to convert because that's where all the competition is, right? And so high hanging fruit is the opposite. With a high hanging fruit marketing strategy, we're attempting to do the opposite of what all the other agents in the marketing are doing. So high hanging fruit is about building a future pipeline of leads where we're gonna intentionally structure your marketing campaigns so that we're actually not getting those leads that are ready to go this month, you know, that we're actually trying intentionally to get leads that are probably, they're probably not ready to go for two or three months, right? They're kind of in that just doing research phase. And because of that, they're a little bit more casual, right? They're probably not even ready to meet you in person yet. They're just looking at homes, kind of casually, quote unquote, doing their research, right? So if we can get the lead to opt in then, here's the cool thing, you basically have no competition because no other agents are usually even paying attention to those leads that early in the sales cycle, right? So the higher hanging the fruit, the easier it is to convert those leads, right? The higher conversion rate you'll have on your leads. And you know, if, if you've been in real estate any more than a year or two, you know that growing your business is way more about lead conversion than it is lead generation, right? You'd rather have a higher conversion rate on your leads and have better leads coming in, you know, than just generating hundreds and hundreds of leads every month, but they're all terrible leads, right? So lead conversion is much more important than lead generation. That's what high hanging fruit is all about because these high hanging fruit leads have a much higher conversion rate simply because there's less competition for those leads. And so that's the foundation of everything we're gonna be going over in this webinar. And I'm also gonna reveal some specific strategies of the best, uh, the best Facebook ads that I've found that work to generate uh, these high hanging fruit style leads. And so this text message I have on the screen here is um, a client who, uh, who picked up a bunch of business you know, using this high hanging fruit marketing strategy and you know, it's great, they got some listing leads and some buyers um, because it was a, basically a family who had referrals and that's all great. But what I want you to focus on is at the very end of this text message, he says, my pipeline is full. Thank you, my pipeline is full. Ultimately, that's what high hanging fruit is all about. It's about building a future pipeline. So you basically always know, looking forward two months, three months, four months, you already know how much money and how much closings you're gonna have coming in you know, like I said, two months from now, three months from now, four months from now. So it allows you to have a lot more peace of mind in your business because you can look ahead knowing exactly how much money is coming in because you always have a pipeline, right? Rather than scraping by paycheck to paycheck, closing to closing, you know, kind of just constantly in a state of stress because you never know when your next closing is. Right, you get lucky and you might have one in December, but then you don't have any lined up for January. Or you're looking forward to February and there's none either. And so you have a client who told you they want to buy in March. And so right now you're getting nervous here in December because you're thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going into the winter months. I don't have a single closing lined up until March. You know, can I survive that long on my savings? Right. High hanging fruit can change all that for you because you'll always have a pipeline. All right. So that's what it's about building a future pipeline of leads so that your marketing starts to resemble more of a system, you know, and it's more like farming and less like hunting. So it's less about luck and it's more about creating a predictable system that gets you leads constantly, right? And so one of the first things I wanna get clear on is that uh, this is a quote I believe from Jim Rohn where your income is determined by your philosophy, not the economy. High hanging fruit really isn't a marketing, uh, strategy, but it's also not a tactic either, right? So I think there's tactics and at a bigger picture level than tactics, there's strategies. Um, you know, direct mail itself is a tactic, right? Or door knocking is a tactic or um, time blocking a couple hours every morning to cold call, you know, expired expired listings. That's a tactic, right? And then at the bigger picture level, there's, there's strategy. But I think high hanging fruit is at an even bigger picture level than tactics or strategy. High hanging fruit is kind of that like the 10,000 foot level. It's kind of a, 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 a business philosophy or marketing philosophy. So it's not a tactic or a strategy. It's an entire philosophy. It's a new way of thinking about marketing. So what that means is that, you know, you can apply direct mail to the high hanging fruit philosophy or you can apply Facebook ads to the high hanging fruit philosophy or client appreciation events, you know, and so on and so forth. So 
high hanging fruit just just isn't about Facebook ads, right? We're going to talk about Facebook ads on the webinar this morning because as of today, right, it's November 27th, 2018. As of today, I believe that Facebook ads are the best and the cheapest, the most efficient way to get leads as a realtor, but who knows? That might change, you know, in 2019. But as of right now, Facebook ads are the best way. So I'm going to give you a few specific examples of the ads that I know work in this webinar, but just realize, right, that high hanging fruit isn't a tactic like Facebook ads. High hanging fruit is a philosophy. It's a new way of thinking about marketing that transcends whatever the marketing trends are, you know, be it Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook ads, and whatever other, you know, online marketing channels pop up in the next few years. You know, high hanging fruit will always be relevant because at the end of the day, it's about human psychology, right? That's what makes this work. And so here's what we're going to cover here in the next 60 minutes. Again, if you're just joining us, my name is Tim Shermack. I'm the author of the book, High Hanging Fruit. And just a reminder, everyone on this webinar is going to get a free copy of the book. We're going to send you a physical copy in the mail for free. So it's not just like a PDF or an ebook download. We're going to send you a real book in the mail that'll show up in your mailbox in your front yard, right? So we're going to send you a real copy of the book. Here's what we're going to cover here um, in the next hour. I'm really, really excited about this because I think this, what you're going to learn this morning in this webinar is going to make 2019 and the final month of 2018 uh, the biggest and best and most profitable months of your real estate career. At the end of the webinar, I'm also going to cover the $500 marketing campaign uh, that can change your life. It's something that we do consistently for platform clients. And I'm going to give you a special discount, kind of a, a bonus surprise at the end of the webinar. Um, if you want to take action and even get a marketing campaign done that's cheaper than that. So I'll share more about that later. I don't want to spoil the surprise, but we have some pretty cool uh, bonuses at the end of the webinar in addition to the free book that everyone is going to get. All right. So the first thing I want to establish here is that this high hanging fruit marketing philosophy, what makes this different from pretty much every marketing idea you know, out there is that it's not just a theory. This is marketing that actually works, right? So it's not just about getting some likes on Facebook or some comments on Facebook or some shares or anything like that. This is marketing that actually works. It's marketing that'll get people in your town to recognize you. You'll build a local brand. You'll start getting more referrals, right? So even on top of all of the lead gen, right? This will help activate your sphere of influence and get you more warm referrals because you start building an actual brand in your area where people know you and then think of real estate they think of you, right? So here's just one example. This is Kim Litke. Kim is an agent in kind of the suburbs of Chicago. And she was at one of her son's baseball games this summer. And two people randomly walked up to her and she had no idea who they were, right? But they recognized her from her high hanging fruit marketing videos, right? So the videos were so powerful that these random people walked up to her at a baseball game and actually recognized her. And turns out they needed to buy and sell a house. And so here's Kim's story. I'll let her tell it in her own words, but this is the power of high hanging fruit, right? This is a marketing idea that actually works. Hey, it's Kimberly Litke, and I just wanted to share a quick story with you. I had taken my son for his baseball pictures, and while I was waiting for him, I had two people come up to me and say they recognized me from Facebook and needed some help with real estate. One was to list her parents' house for sale, and the other was to help a sister look for a home in the area. So the videos definitely help and they are working in that retargeting platform, doing its job. Thanks again. Again, this is marketing that actually works. I mean, imagine, imagine how much you could scale your business in 2019, right? And for the final month of 2018 here, if your marketing was so powerful that people were actually recognizing you around town. And the cool thing is she doesn't have to spend you know, thousands of dollars a month on billboards or huge direct mail campaigns, you know, what all like the big shot agents do. She's running some small, you know, hyper local targeted Facebook ads and the retargeting strategy is what makes it work, right? So she can actually spend less money than other agents, but get more results because she's using kind of the approach of a sniper with her ad, with her ad targeting versus a shotgun, right? So we're going to touch more on that later on the specific Facebook strategies of uh, how you can create results like that. But for now, just realize that this, this, this high hanging fruit idea, it's marketing that actually works, right? And so let's talk about the four specific reasons that I think 
that this could that the strategy could actually double your GCI this year or even triple. We have a ton of examples of agents that have even tripled their GCI and a couple even quadrupled it. So let's dive into it. Um, this is the book that we're going to send you, High Hanging Fruit. I wanted to show you this video because I know especially this time of year, you know, November and as we're rolling into the holiday season here in 2018, you know, we're only a month away from the new year, right? So this is the time when a lot of agents get reflective. They're kind of thinking about what business goals they want to accomplish, you know, in, in 2019. Like, you know, they're setting goals. Like, what is my GCI going to be in 2019? Or, you know, how many million in sales volume do I want to close? Do I want to close 5 million next year? Is my goal 12 million? Or, you know, if you already did 10 million this year, is my goal to do 15 million next year? You know, you're setting your goals. You're setting your goals for number of leads you want to generate, or number of referrals you want to get, all these things, right? And that's great. And there's lots of really, really good real estate books that are written for agents that are kind of making their goals and their business planning. Right, especially this time of year. All the books by Gary Keller are wonderful for that, right? The one thing, you've got the millionaire real estate agent, right? But this is a video of Jonathan Garrick, and he talks about how he had read all those books already, right? He had read these really good books by Gary Keller. And so he had an idea of, of the business planning and the goals he wanted to accomplish, but High Hanging Fruit was kind of that bridge for him. So when he read the book High Hanging Fruit, it was kind of that intermediary next step that allowed it to it, it allowed him to take those ideas, right, those those goals, and actually have a specific plan of, okay, I have the goals. Now, here's how I'm going to actually generate the number of leads that will be necessary to hit my goals, right? Because unless you have a specific, tangible marketing plan, you know, of the marketing campaigns that you're going to run to generate the number of leads that would be necessary to hit your goals, uh, you, you don't really have goals. You just have dreams. Right? It doesn't really matter if you go through a business planning workshop and you generate goals for next year if you're not actually doing anything different with your marketing to generate the number of leads that would be necessary to hit those goals. Right. So for Jonathan Garrick, a high hanging fruit was kind of that next step that allowed him to take his goals and actually create a specific marketing plan to take his business to that next level. And again, everyone is going to get a free copy of this book who's on the webinar this morning. Real estate agent in Southwest Florida with Keller Williams Realty, and I'm here today to talk to you about the book High Hanging Fruit and the platform system. Now, if you've ever read any of the books by Gary Keller, The One Thing, or The Millionaire Real Estate Agent, they give you the real big picture thinking on how to come up with a business plan and to grow your real estate business. This is the rocket fuel to that system to actually how to market your business and yourself effectively. So definitely if you're interested in this book, pick up a copy and also contact platform. It was one of the best business decisions I've ever made. Awesome. So again, high hanging fruit is kind of that next step, especially if you've read other business books or you know you've gone through business planning workshops and all that. You've had the motivational, inspirational rah-rah. High hanging fruit is going to be that next concrete tactical next steps, right? That allow you to actually implement new things that'll grow your business. And so if you haven't already, please grab a pen and paper. Um, you'll want to be taking notes. I talk really fast in case you haven't noticed. Um, I try to condense this entire webinar into 60 minutes. So it's not going to be you know a marathon, four-hour webinar. But I do try to convince, uh, condense an eight-hour consulting day into an hour webinar. So I talk fast. There's a lot of uh, marketing material and strategies I want to get through. So I talk fast. So please, please take notes. Really, really quickly, um, just so everyone knows, High Hanging Fruit is actually not the first book that I published on marketing. My first book was a book called Main Street Marketing. And what happened was tons of small business owners around the country read this book, Main Street Marketing. And I started to get emails, you know, and some, uh, you know, some Facebook messages and whatnot from people who have read this book. And this was just a general book I wrote for just brick and mortar small business owners in general. So, you know, barber shops and insurance agents and car dealerships and dentists and you know, CrossFit gyms, things like that, right? Just regular old classic American small business owners, right? But what happened was a lot of realtors read this book and they started implementing some of the marketing strategies, uh, specifically the lead generation strategies that I introduced in this book and they started getting really, really good results. Uh, and so some of them, of those realtors, eventually contacted me and asked me if they could hire me for consulting. And I said, you know, sure. And so I kind of help them further dial in their marketing campaigns and get them even better results. And that's when people's businesses actually started doubling. You know, we, we saw agents who doubled their GCI. Some of them even 
tripled their GCI. And Jose, I'll, I'll share his story later, Jose actually more than quadrupled his GCI when he implemented these lead generation strategies. And Jose was an agent who was already making more than $100,000 a year in GCI. So for him to quadruple it, you know, that was a massive growth in business. And so I kind of realized at that point, hey, I think I'm onto something here. I think this works, you know, it works well for small business owners, but it works especially well for real estate agents. And so based on all those consulting successes of agents who hired me after reading this book, I decided to write an entirely new book um, based on what I learned from all these clients. And that book became the book High Hanging Fruit. So this is an entirely new book uh, written specifically for real estate agents. It is a legit 200 page book, right? So I just want you to know it's not like a, a 50 page book or it's not an ebook or just a download. It's a real 200 page book that will send you in the mail. Again, everyone on this webinar is going to get a free copy of this book. I actually took a picture of my own hand holding the book here just so you all know that uh, it is a real physical book. It's not just a PDF or an ebook. We're going to send you a real book. Um, the old fashioned way in the mail, right? So if you haven't already, grab a pen and paper and start taking notes. So the first concept that I cover when I do a consulting day with a broker or you know a top producing team, right? If they hire me to do a consulting day, the very first thing that we typically cover is the two variables. And these are what I call the two variables that, that move your business forward. And the reason I say that is because before we get into the specifics, we have to get clear on on kind of the philosophical foundation of what moves your business forward, but also the philosophical foundation of why you're currently at where you are right now, right? And so it, it's pretty simple. The uh, two variables are where you invest your time and where you invest your money. Those two variables explain why some people are, you know, at 400,000 in GCI year and why some people are at 40,000 in GCI year. It's just that simple. It's where do you invest your time and where do you invest your money, right? From the very first week that you probably got licensed as a real estate agent, most agents were taught by their broker to invest their, uh, their money at the bottom of the funnel and invest their time at the top of the funnel. So if, if you imagine the typical you know, sales funnel or sales cycle, right? It's basically an upside down triangle. It's widest at the top and it gets narrow as it goes to the bottom, right? And so the leads come in at the top and it gets narrower and narrower and narrower. And hopefully out of every hundred leads, you're closing one person at the bottom of that funnel who ends up actually buying or selling a house with you, right? So most agents are taught to generate new business and to generate new opportunities, you know, new conversations. You invest your time at the top of the funnel, right? And with whatever money you have, whatever marketing budget you have, you know, whether it's $1,000 a month or whether it's $100 a month, you spend that money at the bottom of the funnel trying to like buy leads essentially. So you might put a hundred bucks, you know, in Facebook ads or Zillow leads or, you know, um, a small newspaper ad, right? Whatever you're doing, you try to buy leads at the bottom of the funnel. And if you're spending your time to get leads at the top of the funnel, what that typically looks like is you're sitting open houses on the weekends, right? Even if it's other agents listings, you're just willing to invest your time because you probably have more of a surplus of time than you have money, right? So you're willing to invest your time to generate leads. Uh, other agents might time block, you know, a couple hours every morning. Maybe they have a, a subscription, you know, to Red X, for example, and they're just cold calling with a dialer, right? They're going through all the, the most recently expired listings and they spend two hours um, every morning just cold calling expired, right? You might think it's free doing that, but obviously it's not because your time has a value, right? But that's how you're building your lead generation pipeline is you're investing your time cold calling, right? Or, uh, you know, maybe you cold call your sphere and you just ask for referrals. Hey, do you know anyone who's thinking about buying, selling, or investing in real estate, right? Even if it's not literal cold calling, if you're calling your past clients or people in your sphere, you're still investing your time to generate leads, right? So the main fuel or the main ingredient is your time, right? Other agents just try to get really, really um, visible in the community, right? So maybe to invest their time, maybe they're not cold calling people but they're very active in the community, right? They're volunteering at church. They're going out of the way to uh, volunteer at their children's school or with local charities or like networking business groups, like your local chamber of commerce, or maybe you're in like a BNI group that you attend all the time just to kind of get your face out in the community, right? What all of these strategies have in common is you. It's your time, right? You're viewing your time as the only way to generate leads. And 
the strength of the strategy of investing your time to generate leads, the strength is also the weakness because the problem is that it works. Up to a certain point, uh, using your time to generate business actually works, right? You can get to about 100K in GCI or more by investing your time. The problem is that your time is the only ingredient that's not scalable, right? So you can't really scale doing this, go to, you know, to go from 100 to 200, or to go from 100 to 300 in GCI or beyond, because in a literal sense, eventually you run out of time, right? So most agents are taught their entire career to spend their time trying to generate, you know, generate appointments, generate conversations. And then with whatever marketing budget they have, they spend that at the bottom of the sales cycle trying to buy leads and they hope to get lucky by getting, you know, a lead every couple of months from Zillow or from realtor.com, right? Who clicks on one of the ads that they bought and is ready to look at homes right away, right? So I want you to do the opposite. This is really what high hanging fruit is all about is I want you to do the opposite of what other agents do. So rather than spending our time at the top of the funnel and our money at the bottom of the funnel, we're gonna flip the funnel. All right, we're gonna flip the funnel. So what that means is I want you to start investing your money at the top of the funnel to generate leads. We're gonna build a marketing system where we're paying to generate leads at the top of the funnel, and here's the important part, so that you only have to invest your time from now on following up with warm leads that your marketing system has already cultivated and warmed up for you, right? So if we flip the funnel and we start investing our money at the top of the funnel to generate leads, to generate high hanging fruit leads, then we're gonna trust our marketing system to warm these leads up so that from now on, we only have to spend our time following up with warm leads who actually want to talk to us, right? So this is a game changer because it means that you can go from spending $100 a month to $1,000 a month on marketing, or you know, even if you wanna create a ton of business, maybe you have a buyer's agent you wanna give leads to, you might start spending $2,000 a month or beyond. And the beautiful part about all this is that it's scalable, right? Because your time is no longer the ingredient. We're gonna build a marketing system that exists and works independent of your time, right? So this is a game changer because it means that it's it's going to work for someone who only has $200 a month to spend, but it's also going to work even if you have $2,000 a month to spend because your time is no longer the constraint, right? Your marketing campaigns and your marketing systems are going to generate leads and they're going to warm up the leads for you completely independent of your time. So all you have to do is follow up with leads that are already warmed up for you, right? And the cool thing is that this works especially, especially well for those that are on a limited budget because there's not like a minimum buy-in for the high hanging fruit strategy, right? Most agents will say it's almost a waste of time buying into Zillow, you know, if you can't spend 500 bucks a month or a thousand dollars a month because you, you'll, you'll, you'll really never hit a critical mass of getting enough impressions to get enough leads to where it'll be worth your time, right? The same thing is true of strategies like direct mail, you know, where if you only have a couple hundred dollars a month to spend, you know, in your advertising budget, like direct mail will do absolutely nothing for you, right? Because if, you, if you're sending out 200 direct mail pieces, that's probably gonna cost you close to 200 bucks, right? And direct mail response rates are typically less than half a percent or a quarter of a percent. So unless you have 500 to $1,000 a month to spend on direct mail, uh, you're going to get zero results from it because the conversion rates are just so low. The same thing is true of newspaper ads, right? Most most local newspapers, if you only have $200 a month to spend, that's going to get you such a tiny little ad that might run one day that's just not worth it. You're not going to get any phone calls from it, right? So most advertising, you know, it's the same thing with radio, right? Um, radio spots are so expensive now that if you only have a couple hundred bucks a month to spend, you're just not going to hit a critical mass and get enough leads to where it'll be worth your time. The cool thing about high hanging fruit is that the leads come in so cheaply because we're targeting leads that we have no competition for, right? Most agents are targeting the low hanging fruit. So if we target the high hanging fruit leads, leads that maybe aren't ready to go for another 60 to 90 days, maybe, maybe they're even four months out, right? The cool thing is there's no competition yet for those buyers and sellers. And because there's no competition, the clicks and the leads are really, really cheap because online algorithms like uh, Google pay-per-click or Facebook ads, they work on an auction-based algorithm. And so if there's no competition, 
for those impressions, there's no competition for those clicks, the cost per lead and the, you know, the yeah, cost per click, therefore the cost per lead plummets. And so rather than paying $20 a lead or $10 a lead, we're getting leads for you know, $4 per lead, $3 per lead. So even with a budget of only 200 bucks a month, if you structure these high hanging fruit marketing campaigns, the way that I'll show you in this webinar, and by the way, I'm gonna give you the specific ads. So I'm not just telling you, um, hey, here's an idea. I'm gonna show you the specific Facebook ads I recommend running, right? Even with a budget of 200 bucks a month, if you can get leads for $4 a piece, that means every month you're bringing in 50 warm leads. I mean, that's a game changer, especially for agents who only have a small marketing budget of a couple hundred dollars a month. So this works really, really well for agents that are already top producers, as well as agents who, you know, maybe you're newer and you made $40,000 last year and your goal this year is to make 100 in GCI. This can work for you too. So I wanted to show you this quick text message because uh, this is an agent who, you know, yeah, they followed up, they uh, implemented this high hanging fruit. Uh, you know, idea. They got a couple leads at a pretty decent price point uh, of 400,000. And so they're pretty happy about that. But the reason I wanted to show you this, this specific text message is that uh, this, this realtor is 18 years old. It's an 18 year old um, in central Wisconsin. His name is Keaton. Um, and so I'm, I'm, I'm showing you this because if an 18 year old can implement this, I mean, the kid recently graduated high school, right? If an 18 year old real estate agent can implement this and get results, you can too, right? So he just graduated high school and already he's killing it as a realtor. So let's talk about the plateau that most agents hit in their business right around 30 transactions a year. When I started doing consulting with realtors after I published the book, Main Street Marketing, I kept seeing this phenomenon over and over and over again. I couldn't really explain it. I didn't know why it was happening, but I kept seeing agents hit a plateau in their business right around uh, 30 transactions a year. And I couldn't explain it, like there was no logical reason this was happening, you know? And it wasn't, it wasn't 30 on the dot. You know, often it was, you know, 25 or 27 or 33 transactions or sometimes 34, right? But right around 30 closings a year, I kept seeing agents get stuck. I had so many realtors that were uh, trying to hire me as a consultant. And when I, you know, asked them how their business is going, almost like clockwork, like almost every time it was like, well, you know, I've been an agent for three years or I've been an agent for five years, whatever. And I seem to be stuck at, you know, 29 closings a year. I'm stuck at 34 closings a year, 35 closings a year. But it was always right around 30 transactions a year they got stuck. And typically the pattern that followed was, you know, hey, my first year, I was just kind of learning the ropes. I got a couple like gimme deals from my broker that they basically handed to me and I did, let's say, five transactions my first year. My second year, I got a couple referrals. Um, business started to trickle in. I did 12 that year. You know, my third year, I did 24. And then the next year, I also did 24. And the year after that, I did 29. But they, they couldn't quite seem to break through that invisible barrier. It's like a plateau right at about 30 transactions a year. And all of a sudden I had a light bulb moment where I, I, I realized there's actually a very simple explanation for this, why agents get stuck, why agents hit a plateau at 30 transactions a year. It's very simple. They just run out of time. They literally run out of minutes in the day. They run out of days in the week. They run out of time because of what we talked about earlier. They built their businesses with straight up hustle by just putting in the time. Right. And so if, if cold calling and calling expired listings and sitting open houses on weekends and, you know, asking their friends and family for referrals or networking and attending BNI meetups and, you know, being really active in their kids school and church and other events in the community. Right. If just investing their time was how they built their business. The problem is that it works up to a certain point until you literally run out of time. Right. Uh, let's let's say you did uh let's say you did eighty thousand dollars last year in gci and your goal is to approximately double you want to get to about one hundred fifty thousand in gci right but i i don't even have to ask you here's the thing if you tell me i did eighty thousand dollars in gci last year i don't even have to ask you because i already know that you're probably working 50 hours a week or more right i know that you're not a part-time agent if you did eighty thousand in GCI, right? I know that you're not a part-time agent. And not only are you not part-time, 
you're not working 40 hours a week either. You're probably working 50. There's some agents who work 60 hours a week, right? And so it's, it's, it's very obvious. It's almost a simple mathematical equation that if you're already working 50 hours a week and you want to double your business, you can't just double the hours you're working because you know you can't just work 100 hours a week, right? That's, that's mathematically impossible. You know, you would never have time to sleep, right? Nor even, even if it worked, right? For the sake of argument, even if that worked, no one wants to work 100 hours a week because that's not a life worth living, right? Who cares if you make more money if you're working 20 hours a day and sleeping four hours a day? Like that's, that's, that's stupid, right? So mathematically, if time is how you're generating your business, you have to realize that's not scalable. We have to build a marketing system that exists independent of your time. Right, so you can get to 30 transactions a year with just straight up hustle with putting in the time. But to get beyond that, to break through that plateau, you have to build a marketing system, a specifically a lead generation system that's generating leads around the clock completely independent of your time. Right, so those four words, write that down, independent of your time, right? Because if you build a marketing system that does that, then the time that you do spend goes from maybe two or three hours a day of lead generating and networking and all that to as little as half an hour a day of only following up with the warm leads, right? And so if we can get the time that you're spending on follow-up down to half hour a day, it actually frees up extra hours in your day to work with all the new leads that are coming in. So this system actually is scalable, right? But it all starts with generating, generating enough leads to feed you that business, right? So here's a quick video. This is Brandon. He's a realtor in the Denver area. And he's gonna talk about um, how he built this high hanging fruit marketing system. He's gonna actually walk into his office and show you on the whiteboard all the business that he has coming up. This video was filmed uh, in the summer and so he's talking about the numbers he did, you know, June, July, August. Um, but he's gonna show you, he has all the business, you know, for the next several months coming up. He already knows how much he'll be closing. So he has the ultimate peace of mind that not only does he know how many closings are happening this month, he can look forward two months from now, three months from now, four months from now, and he already knows how much money will be coming in those months because he has a high hanging fruit marketing system that's generating leads for him around the clock. So all he has to do to hit his business goals is just follow up with the warm leads that are coming in, right? It's the ultimate peace of mind in your business when the marketing system does all that work for you. All you have to do is show up and follow up with the warm leads. So Brandon's going to actually take you into his office and show you his whiteboard here with all the high hanging fruit. Check this out. First introduced to the whole online lead platform system. I was skeptical. Now, a year later, we're closing 40 deals in 2016. This is all due to the online marketing platform. For example, we have our buyers meet us in this building, which gives us instant credibility. So when you meet somebody on the internet, you never know if they're real or not. So when you come to a building like this, people come in here, they wanna work with you, they realize you're real, and then you sign them up as a client. So here's where he's gonna walk into his office here and he'll show you, like the whiteboard doesn't lie, right? He'll show you all the business he has coming up directly from this high hanging fruit marketing system. Come with me to the office. For example, we are closing 11 deals in June alone, totally over $4.5 million. That is an incredible number, about half of that came directly from the platform system. Now over here is the stuff you can't fade. These are this is our pipeline. This is ready buyers who've been pre-approved. They want to go searching, they want to go shopping, and they want to buy a home. Fifty percent of these guys are all coming from our platform system, and it's proven that the high hanging fruit mentality, the system, the platform leads. It really does work, and it's real. And so I should say really quickly on the bottom right of all the slides here on this um, on this webinar, guys, you see the word platform and the platform logo. So high hanging fruit is the title of the book that I wrote. And that's kind of the uh, the name of the strategy itself is high hanging fruit. Platform is the marketing company that I founded where we work with realtors. And so sometimes you'll hear me say like the platform strategy and sometimes I might say the high hanging fruit strategy. Um, they both mean the same thing, right? High hanging fruit is just the title of the book. And platform is the name of the marketing agency that I founded um, that works with realtors. But if I say the platform strategy or the high hanging fruit strategy, I'm talking about the same thing. All right. So um, just to quickly summarize, you can get to about 30 deals a year, you know, like like Brandon did, right? Just by being good at sales, just with 
the H word, hustle, right? Just by putting in the time, you can typically grow your business to about 30 transactions a year. But what separates agents who get stuck at 30 a year from the agents who actually are able to scale and get to 50 or 60 a year or 70 a year, you know, beyond, right? It stops being about sales. It's not about the number of hours you're putting in the hustle. It's about marketing, um, specifically lead generation, right? Because you actually have to get more efficient with lead generation as you scale, because even if you generate 500 warm leads a month, right, you actually have to leave enough time in your calendar to service all those leads, right? Because you can't just spend two hours or three hours every day, you know, cold calling and setting a bunch of appointments, because if you're spending so much of your time setting those appointments, you have to leave enough hours in your day, obviously, to go on those appointments and be a real estate agent and, you know, work with your clients. I mean, attend showings, uh, go to home inspections, negotiate offers, go on listing appointments, right? Um, scheduling and setting up the photography of new listings, you know, working and emailing with the loan officer back and forth to make sure your client um, has a legit pre-approval, right? Versus just being pre-qualified. I mean, all the, all the random activity that agents do you know, to get a closing and to get to the closing table and ultimately get your commission check, right? You have to leave enough hours in the day to do all that stuff. You can't spend all your day lead generating, right? So that's that's really at the big picture level what this is all about is, yes, you need, you need to generate more leads, but what most agents make the mistake of doing is they generate a bunch of leads, but they don't free up the extra hours in their day to actually handle the increased volume of leads and then they end up working 12 hours a day or 13 hours a day and they hate their life and they question like, was all that worth it, right? So we want to generate more leads. We also want to free up the hours in your day to handle those leads so that your business can grow, but you're still working a reasonable, you know, 40 hours a week, not, you know, 70 hours a week, right? So the next 25 minutes of this training, guys, I think could be the most 25, uh, the most important 25 minutes of your real estate business, of your real estate career. So if you have your phone out and maybe up until this point you haven't really been paying attention, that's cool, but right now, put your phone down. Put it on airplane mode, close out any other browsers you have because we're gonna dive into these specific marketing campaigns that I recommend running that'll generate leads for you. We're gonna talk about how to specifically follow up with these leads. Here's the part of the webinar where we get into the specifics of how to build a high-hanging fruit marketing system. So. This is the part where if you do this in December of 2018, I promise you, you will have the fastest start in 2019. You'll have the fastest start to a year you've ever had in your real estate business. This is the perfect time of year to implement something like this uh, because most agents are really, really slow in December, January, February, and they're basically just crossing their fingers, you know, waiting to get to spring where things ramp up. Well, how much money could you make next year if you didn't have that slow start, you know, where you actually were making money in January, February, March, instead of waiting until April, May, June to start getting closings, right? Well, this is how you're going to do that because the leads that you generate, according to the high hanging fruit uh, philosophy, the leads that you generate here in the final days of November and then in December of 2018 are going to be the leads that you end up closing in January, February, March next year. So if you want to start off the year with a bang, pay attention to the next 25 minutes. All right. So let's talk about how to generate high hanging fruit leads and why the current state of real estate lead generation is so radically different than it was even just a couple years ago. Right. So uh, think back, let's say five years ago, think back to like, let's just say 2014, right? If you were, if you were buying leads from Zillow, you know, low hanging fruit, Right. If you were getting low hanging fruit leads from Zillow back in 2014, um, let's say that you were spending a thousand dollars a month. Let's just pick a round number like that, a thousand dollars a month. I don't even have to ask you. I don't even have to ask you. I already know that you're getting fewer leads today from Zillow for the same thousand dollars a month as you were five years ago. Right. So five years ago, a thousand dollars a month got you way more leads than it does today. Right. And so the 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 cost per lead. In other words, from online lead generation and online marketing has gone way up, right? Not just slightly, like five or ten percent, but we're talking about fifty percent, a hundred percent, in some instances, a two hundred percent price increase from what it was five years ago, right? So that same thousand dollars a month, you know, it's the same amount of money. It's getting you way fewer leads in two thousand eighteen, and it's going to even get worse in two thousand nineteen 
than it was, let's say, let's say just five years ago, about 2014. So what's causing that, right? What's, what's causing that? It's, it's not inflation, right? We can't just say, oh, well, you know, inflation, because inflation is an explanation, maybe if you're looking at really long time periods, where if we're comparing something, you know, in 2018 to something that happened in the 1950s, right, then obviously inflation is going to play a role over longer periods of time, you know, 50 years or even 25 years, right, you can usually notice some level of inflation that affects your calculations. But when we're only talking about a five year time period, right, there's not that much inflation that happens in five years. And so we can't just explain this away. The reason that Zillow has gotten so much more expensive, we can't just explain this away by saying, oh, well, inflation, right? It's only five years. Inflation is not a valid explanation. So why are leads so much more expensive now than they were just five years ago? This has created a major problem because a lot of agents basically built their entire business back in 2012, 2013, 2014, even, you know, even into 2015, they built their entire business with Google pay-per-click and AdWords and, you know, buying leads from Zillow or realtor.com, right? And now it's so much more expensive, they can't afford to do that anymore. So what, what has changed, right? Like what's different now uh, that, that wasn't true before, right? There, there has to be a, like an explanation for this. And there is one. If you, if, if you look at the rate of home ownership, you know, the number of people buying homes in America in a given year, the interesting thing is that metric really has not changed in the last five years. Like approximately the same number of people um, in America per capita, right? The same percentage is buying a house in 2018 as they were back in, you know, 2013, 2014. So that number has stayed the same, right? So the same number of people, in other words, are going online every month and searching for homes this year as they were five years ago, right? So the amount of traffic of people that are willing to go online, click on ads, search for homes, that's basically been a constant, right? So the supply, in other words, this is just a simple economic formula. It's supply and demand, right? The supply has stayed the same. The number of people going online, researching and ultimately buying a house, it's actually pretty much stayed the same but the demand has changed, right? Where it's changed is on the demand side of the equation. So in the last five years, there's been like a great awakening um, amongst real estate agents and kind of the real estate industry at large, where in the last five years, that's where we've seen this major shift of agents moving their budget away from offline to online. So this wasn't true 10 years ago, but in the last five years, we've seen tons of agents, you know, stop running newspaper ads, they've stopped the billboards, they've stopped the direct mail farming, right? And they've really put all that money just into online. So they're putting it into Facebook ads, they're putting it into ads on Google, pay-per-click. They're hiring companies like Boomtown, Commission Zinc, Curator, um, you know, obviously Realtor.com, like Zillow is the biggest one, right? They've basically taken, they've taken, excuse me, they've taken money uh, that was being spent offline, you know, whether it was print media, radio, billboards, um, direct mail, whatever, and they've moved it online. And so keep in mind though, this entire time, the supply of home buyers searching online hasn't really changed. And so you have tens of millions, if not, well, actually hundreds of millions of new dollars chasing the same amount of leads, right? And what we know is that uh, all of these online ad platforms, whether it's Facebook or Google, they were built by the software engineers to mimic a real live auction. So they're auction based algorithms, right? What that means is that the more, the more people are bidding on those clicks and, you know, bidding on those leads, it pushes the price up because the algorithm responds in real time to the number of people that are willing to pay obviously for those clicks. And if there's more demand, the cost per click goes up, right? And so that's what's happened in the last five years that, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars, I don't, I don't know, I'd probably have to do some more research on this to give you a specific number, but maybe it's even in the billions, I don't know. Um, but there's, you know, thousands, tens of thousands more realtors that are just pouring their money every month into online marketing, chasing the same finite <laughs> number of home buyers that hasn't really changed in five years. So obviously what happens, you learn about this in like the first, the first day of economics class in like junior high, right? If supply stays the same, but demand goes way up, what happens? The price increases, right? It's just supply and demand. Supply stays the same, demand goes way up because way more realtors are trying online marketing now, the price goes up, right? 
And so that's why leads from, you know, Zillow, Realtor.com, Boomtown, Sync, I mean, all these various real estate marketing programs have gotten so much more expensive, even in just the last couple of years, even if we're not talking about five years, even in just the last two years, online leads have gotten way more expensive, right? And I know a lot of what you're thinking right now is, but wait, you know, I don't get my leads from Google, I get my leads from Boomtown, or I get my leads from Zillow. Right. So why are my leads more expensive? Because, you know, it like I'm not getting my leads directly from Google. Right. And people are going online and they're searching on Google. Why is that affecting me? Well, what you have to realize is people don't usually go directly to your Boomtown website or your Sync website. Um, you know, often they don't go directly even to Zillow or Realtor.com. First, they go to Google. So where do you think Zillow gets all of its traffic from? They get it from Google, right? Where do you think uh, Realtor.com gets most of its traffic from? It comes from people searching on Google, right? It's and the, the same thing is true of all the other major companies, not just those two. It's you know Boomtown, Sync, all of them, right? They get their traffic, they get their clicks from Google. They're all fishing from the same pond, and so at the at the foundational level, if Google becomes more expensive, everyone else becomes more expensive as a result of that, because they're all getting their leads in the first place from Google traffic, right? And so if that delicate balance, right, of supply and demand gets tilted to where demand exceeds supply, which is exactly what's happened in the last couple of years, therefore Google gets more expensive. If Google gets more expensive, all of the portal companies and the marketing companies that are ultimately getting their leads from Google, they're obviously going to be more expensive too because Google just passes on the increased cost to them. Google's not going to eat that, right? They'll pass that, uh, that cost on. And so even if you've never had a Google pay-per-click account, right? You've never run your own Google ads. If you've been buying leads from Zillow or buying leads from Realtor.com or Boomtown, right? You're really just getting your leads from Google because all these companies are is a middleman for Google clicks, right? They just get the clicks from Google and then they sell the leads to you and they mark it up enough so that they're making a profit, right? There's nothing wrong with that, but that's all they are, right? That's the entire business model of most of the real estate marketing companies out there is they're just a middleman for Google. And so if Google becomes more expensive, everyone else gets more expensive as a result because they're all fishing from the same pond, right? And this phenomenon, this like inefficiency is costing agents thousands of dollars a year in wasted advertising dollars. If you're spending more, it might even be tens of thousands of dollars because for the same amount of money, you're getting fewer leads, right? I mean, maybe before you were spending $1,000 a month on Zillow, like I said, maybe for that $1,000 a month, you were getting 100 leads where the cost per lead was 10 bucks. You know, you spend $1,000, get 100 leads, you know, basic math, the cost per lead is about 10 bucks. Now I've seen it, it's as much as $50 a lead or even more where you're spending $1,000, but now you're only getting 20 leads and so every lead is costing you 50 bucks. And obviously you're not converting every single lead that comes in. And so the math, very quickly, the math like stops making sense where it's like, should I even be doing this anymore? Because I have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to even get one closing. And I basically, it's just paying for itself, best case scenario, right? I'm not even making any money. And so there is a new way. There's a, there's a better way of thinking about this, you know? But you first have to realize that what most agents do is they just throw more money at their marketing budget, right? They're like, oh, well, leads are more expensive now. I guess that same thousand dollars a month isn't getting me the results anymore that it used to. I guess I'll just throw more money at the problem because I just need more leads. And so if I was getting um, leads for about, you know, a thousand dollars a month and that, that got me enough, um, if that, if that got me enough business, then I guess what I'll have to do is start spending $1,500 a month to get the same amount of leads that I was getting before. And I guess I'll just have to absorb that increase in my marketing budget, right? The problem is you can't do that anymore. Um, in, in, in online marketing, like I said, when the software engineers at Google design their ad network and when the software engineers at Facebook, for example, design the Facebook ads ecosystem, it mimics a live auction. So what I mean by that is if more people are bidding on those impressions, on those clicks, in, in, in real time, it updates the CPM, which is the cost per milli, um, it's the cost per thousand impressions, right? And so if more people are bidding after certain keywords, you know, like home buyers in Nashville or, you know, best realtor in Nashville or whatever, you know, 
keywords that you're optimizing for or whatever group you're targeting with Facebook ads, right? If that's competitive, the, the CPMs and then therefore the cost per click get more expensive in real time. And so what this means is that by just increasing your marketing budget, it works very temporarily. You might get more leads, but actually you end up bidding against yourself because what you're telling Google or what you're telling Facebook ads is that, hey, people are willing to spend more money to target these people. So what does Facebook do? They just permanently increase your cost per click. So it's like throwing gasoline on a fire trying to put out the fire, right? It doesn't do anything. It actually makes the problem worse. By throwing more money at the problem, what you're telling the algorithm, whether it's Google, Facebook, wherever, is that there's more demand you know, for these keywords, for these impressions. So what, what do they do? They just respond by increasing the price because that's how auctions work, right? When people are willing to bid higher, the price goes higher, right? And so you can't just out... You know, you can't just outspend other agents. You can't just throw more money at the problem or increase your marketing budget. That'll only work extremely temporarily. You actually have to outsmart them and convert, not just generate more leads, but convert a higher percentage of your leads or even better, you have to find a new source of leads. You know, when everyone else is fishing from the Google pond, let's find a new source of leads, right? Pretty much every real estate marketing company out there um, you know, I've already named pretty much all of them. Curator, Boomtown, Commission Zinc, Zillow, Realtor.com, Ylopo. Uh, there's um, probably 10 more I could name, right? They're all getting their leads from the same place. So let's play a different game entirely. If they're all fishing from the same pond, let's just find the new pond. All right, so here's the solution. I like Facebook ads in 2018 and 2019 because Facebook ads allow us to target people that are really, really high hanging fruit. And the cost per click on Facebook, even with the problem of the algorithm being auction based is still low enough that if you write your ads the right way and you target your ads the right way, the cost per lead can still be $5 or less. It is impossible in 2018, or obviously as we go into 2019, it's impossible to get uh, leads from you know Google or any of the other uh, Google companies that are essentially getting their leads from Google, you know Zillow, Realtor.com, etc. You can't get them as cheap as five dollars. It's just impossible. The cost per click is way too expensive. The cost per click is often five dollars, and so if you're converting twenty five percent of your leads in your landing page, your cost per lead is actually going to be twenty dollars, right, or much much higher. And so I like Facebook ads for this reason because. The cost per lead is cheap enough where the math works out in your favor. Facebook ads right now is the perfect place to be advertising to really make this high hanging fruit strategy work. Okay. Um, what we want to do though is capture the best of both worlds where we're getting a lot of leads and we're getting a higher conversion rate. And ideally, we're also getting a higher price point of leads, like a higher quality of lead itself, right? So we're not getting a first time home buyer who has a 500 credit score and they need down payment assistance, you know, cause they don't have anything saved. Um, like that's not necessarily the, the type of leads we want to be generating. You know, we want existing homeowners that are ideally a move up buyer where you're getting, you know, a listing out of it cause they need to sell their existing house and you're getting to represent them on the buy side when they're buying a bigger house. All right. So those are the leads that we want to generate because that ends up kind of being like a BOGO, right? Like a buy one, get one free where you, generated one lead, but you got um, you got a, a buyer out of it and a seller because they had to sell their house so they could move up to a larger house. So those are the type of leads you want to generate. And that's what kind of turbocharges the effectiveness of your ads. Because the, the uh, ROI, let's say, of every $500 you spend on ads ends up being a huge multiple because you're getting multiple deals potentially out of every lead not just you know one one buyer lead like you typically see from online advertising. And so let's talk about now the specific Facebook ads that I recommend you run to generate these leads. Right? The first one is what I like to call a pool a pool homes list. Right? And a pool homes list is pretty simple. It's just a a list of homes that we run on a Facebook ad that have a pool. So if you're taking notes, write this down. The pool homes list is a Facebook ad that's essentially offering a free report of all of the active listings in your area um, that have a pool, right? So what the ad would be is you would you would take a picture of a house in your area that has a pool, right? And or it can be a stock photo that looks like something in your area that looks like a real house for sale in your area. So obviously, if it's in Florida, it probably has palm trees. If it's up in Montana, you know it probably wouldn't have palm trees. 
Like you get the picture, right? You just use your common sense. You find a picture of a house that has a pool that looks like it, it could be for sale in your area if it's a stock photo. What the Facebook ad says is, let's say you're in, uh, let's say you're in Tampa, Florida, right? It would say, attention, Tampa Bay. I've created a free report of homes for sale here in the Tampa area that have pools. To view the homes, go to www.tampapoolhomesreport.com and you can view the homes for free, right? And then how we target that ad is you target the zip codes you know that are probably, they probably have enough money or they're making enough money to afford a home with a pool, right? Or you can target people with college degrees. We found that that's a really good proxy for targeting homeowners is, you know, all things being equal, someone with a college degree probably makes more money than someone who doesn't. So that's that's been a really effective ad targeting for us. Or you can target people that are married. I mean, basically you target the type of people that you know might already be a homeowner, all right? So certain zip codes, target people with college degrees, target people that are married, or a combination of those. That's how we do the targeting on the back end. And then the other really important thing, if you're taking notes, write this down, when you create this pool home support Facebook ad, is you target people that are over the age of 30. If I were doing it, I, I might even do over the age of 35, right? But for sure, at the bare minimum, only target people over the age of 30. What this does is it maximizes the likelihood that when people are seeing your ad and clicking your ad, that the leads that are coming in are people who already own a house, right? Because what we want to do is minimize the probability that you're getting first time home buyer leads because those, those obviously aren't move up buyers if they're a first time home buyer, right? It's, it's, it's still good to get a lead, you know, it's better to get a first time home buyer lead than I guess get nothing at all. But what really turbocharges this platform strategy is that you're getting a move up buyer lead who might be buying a more expensive house with a pool and you're gonna get to represent them by listing their current house. You're getting you know a seller lead and a buyer lead kind of two for one, like a BOGO deal, right? And so that's how we target the pool homes report ad. And to be clear, to be clear, the psychology that makes this ad work has nothing to do with trying to get, uh, you know, buyers who want a house in a pool. Like that is not the point. It has nothing to do with pool homes. It's that we know that the type of person, like the psychographic and the financial demographic, the type of person who moves up and buys a house with a pool, typically has more money than the average home buyer, and they're already living in a house. Very, very rarely does someone want to go out and buy a home with a pool as a first time home buyer. Right, so just by offering a free list of homes and pools, what we're doing is kind of uh, implicitly appealing to people that already own a house, right? Because I mean, honestly, nine out of the ten leads that come in, you'll find they're not first-time home buyers, right? They already own a house, and so just the lead quality—not the quantity, but the lead quality—that comes in from this ad is just amazing, right? Because of offering homes and pools kind of filters out all the type of leads you might not necessarily want and gives you the high quality leads that are move up buyers. You know, if they're a move up buyer, it also means that they're they're going to qualify for, you know, mortgage financing, right? So you just don't have to worry about as much with them getting pre-approved and all that hassle that you typically do with online leads because again, the lead quality is much higher. It has absolutely nothing to do with us trying to get pool buyers. That's just kind of a psychological trick we use to get the type of lead that we would want to work with anyways, regardless of whether they end up buying a home with a pool or not, right? And so what makes this work is that you're offering real value, right? Most, most ads right now that are run by real estate agents online are basically hooked up to an IDX website, right? And they go to your website and they're on your, you know, your site for 15 seconds and boom, they get a pop-up and it asks them to register to search for more homes, right? You have to create an account to search more homes. The problem with that is most people don't want to do that. They were just casually browsing. They went to your website, they looked at a couple homes and they got a pop-up. You know, sometimes I've seen it where it's hard coded into the website where it's not necessarily like a you know 20 second timer, but maybe it's like once they viewed three different houses, then they get the pop-up and it says, hey, you have to create an account in order to keep looking at homes, right? The problem with that, of course, is if they don't want to give you their contact information in that moment because they didn't realize they had to opt in, they leave, they bounce off your website and they're just gonna go somewhere else and look at homes that don't require them to opt in. So usually they're gonna go to Zillow, they're gonna go to realtor.com, you know, wherever, because those websites don't require an opt-in or they don't require you to create an account just to look at houses. And so, you know, most agents with their IDX websites, whether you're on you know, 
Curator or Boomtown or Sync or I mean, uh, like Real Geeks. Obviously, I mean, there's tons of websites where they basically generate leads via an IDX landing page. It just doesn't really work. I mean, if you look at the stats on these websites, over 90% of the time, the clicks are not translating into actual leads. So, I mean, effectively, you're wasting 90% of your marketing budget because that percentage of the time, the people aren't clicking through and actually giving you their contact information, right? You're actually kind of pissing them off because they just wanted to look at homes, right? It just doesn't work. Like if a marketing strategy fails over 90% of the time, like why are we putting as an industry so much money into it? So using IDX websites to generate leads is kind of an outdated strategy. It just doesn't really work anymore. It doesn't really offer real value, real value to the person doing research you know, and searching for homes, right? And so the cool thing is with, with the platform landing pages, with the high hanging fruit mentality, if you generate ads, uh, leads early enough in the sales cycle, very casually when they're doing research and you custom curate a free report of homes for them, let's say, you know, pool homes report, the conversion rate on those landing pages is as high as 20 to 30%. Sometimes I've seen it as high as 35%. So we're talking about something that's literally 10, uh, 10 times higher conversion rate than a normal IDX website. Because normal IDX websites, you know, are often converting at 2%, 3%, 4%, 5% at the highest, right? These are converting at 25%, 30%. So it's literally 10 times higher conversion rate on the leads, right? And when it comes to math, the, the uh, math of lead conversion is much more important than the math of lead generation because all things being equal, uh, you'll make more money by converting more leads than you will by just throwing more money into lead generating. Right, and so just you know, the average agent who uses this strategy is getting about 200 warm leads every single month. That's not like a best case scenario, that's not an outlier. Uh, the average gets about 200 warm leads every single month. And with the type of ads we run, remember, we're optimizing for move up buyers. And so it's not 200 crappy first time home buyer leads who need down payment assistance, you know, and they have credit problems and it's going to be a year before they get their credit fixed up. You know, these are typically buyers that already own a house. They're looking to upgrade their house. And so it's the exact type of client you would want to be working with anyways. All right. And so I know you're thinking right now, okay, that sounds great. But um, what if there's no pool homes in my area? What's another ad I can run if I'm not in a part of the country that has lots of pool homes? You know, maybe you're in northern Minnesota or here in North Dakota or you're in upstate New York or, you know, Michigan or somewhere where you're in the winter right now. There's not a lot of pool homes for sale, right? Well, one ad that works really, really well for you is the acreage homes report if you're not in an area of a country that has pools. So what the acreage homes report is, it leverages the same psychology as the pool homes report but instead of offering in a Facebook ad, instead of offering a free report of homes for sale that have a pool, you're offering a free report of homes for sale that have acreage, right? And you can define whatever that means. Maybe in your area, acreage is anything more than five acres. Maybe it's anything more than half an acre, right? Obviously that's up to you and what your local market um, thinks of as, you know, house with acreage. But what the acreage homes report ad is, it would just say like, you know, uh, attention, Attention Nashville, you know, let's say you're in the Nashville area and, and, and you're going to run this ad. Actually, let's say you're in somewhere in the north, like Fargo, North Dakota, right? Um, that definitely does not have pool homes. So attention Fargo, I've created a free report of homes for sale here in the Fargo area that have acreage. To view the homes, go to www.fargoacreagehomesreport.com, right? So that's what the Facebook ad looks like. You probably have a photo on the ad of a house that looks like it has an acre or two of land in the yard, you know? And so we drive them to a landing page where we capture their name and their email to get them to opt in to view the acreage home support. The reason that this works so well is you're making it clear that you custom created a list of specifically what they want. And so again, this landing page, unlike IDX websites that are used by all the other marketing companies, you know, they convert it 2% or 3% or maybe 4% if you're lucky, this pool homes report or this acreage homes report typically converts at 25% or higher. So right off the bat, you're basically getting at 10 times higher lead conversion rate than you are with IDX websites, with uh, which is how most of the industry is generating their leads, right? So I love this acreage home support. We target it the same way. We target people over the age of 30 that are likely homeowners because that maximizes the likelihood that the type of leads 
that you're getting, right, are actually move up buyers. All right. So this is how you can just exponentially grow your business in 2019 is not just by generating a higher quantity of leads every month, which we need to do, right? But that's necessary, not sufficient. We also want to increase the quality of the leads so that when you're calling and following up and setting appointments, that you're converting a lot more of the leads because that gives you the psychological willpower to do the follow-up because you know that these are warm leads and that they're good leads, the type of leads that you actually want to work with, right? So if you think about it, it basically doubles the impact of your advertising budget. It's the equivalent of just spending twice amount, the amount of money every month on advertising if your leads are BOGO. You know, they're basically buy one, get one free. You're getting a buyer lead who's buying a more expensive house and you're getting to represent them by selling their current house. It effectively doubles the amount of money that you're spending every month on advertising or it gives you the results as if you doubled the amount of money that you're spending every month on advertising. So this is what's made the platform strategy and this high hanging fruit idea so effective is that you're doing all this and your cost per lead is typically three bucks. And so if you spend a hundred dollars on leads, you know, every month, you're going to generate over 30 leads a month for just a hundred bucks. Or if you want to spend more and spend $500 a month, you know, that means that you're probably going to be able to generate hundreds of leads every month for an ad budget as little as $500. You're getting hundreds of leads um, a month for an ad budget, excuse me, of $500. Can you see how when I say that we can double your business or this high hanging fruit strategy can triple your business, um, that we're not lying. I mean, if you could generate that many leads every month, it's really not that hard to see how you could double or triple your GCI in 2019. So let's get into this, guys, the final part of the webinar. Um, I'm gonna give you a free copy of the book and then I wanna share with you an extremely special bonus on top of the free copy of the book um, that I think really could double or triple your GCI um, right away in 2019. So first, go to platformmarketingpdf.com. You can get uh, a free PDF of five specific Facebook ads that leverage the high-hanging fruit philosophy. So I know we, we're basically out of time, so I can't give you more ads. If you want to see more specific ads that, that you can get leads, just go to platformmarketingpdf.com. You can download that for free. Um, I know that the link hasn't hasn't worked for some people and so if platform marketing pdf.com doesn't work for you just shoot mitch an email uh mitch's emailed you obviously several times this morning um to to uh, to uh, remind you of the webinar so just respond to one of those emails and let him know that you want uh, him to send you that pdf it's at platform marketing pdf.com and mitch will send that to you but there has five additional facebook ads on top of the acreage homes list um and the uh, pool homes report that'll work to help get you more of these high hanging fruit leads, right? And so there's an additional free bonus for you uh, right there. And I wanna show you one more video here about what, what makes this work so well, I guess, because it's not just about new leads, it's about getting more referrals too into your business. Um, because there's a lot of people watching this webinar, I know that like they already have plenty of leads, but they really just wanna activate their sphere of influence more and use this high hanging fruit marketing philosophy to, yeah, you know, hopefully generate some more leads, but also, they want to get a lot more referrals from their current leads and their current client database. Uh, here's an example of how to do that. And then we're going to get into the part where I give you a free copy of the High Hanging Fruit book. It's not just all about the leads. We're walking up to a listing I have where the owner saw me in a retargeting campaign through a market update video. And now I've got a $450,000 listing. This whole High Hanging Fruit marketing campaign strategy, it really works. There you go. Um, you can see a sign in the air that's Brandon Ray. I mean, that's an actual $400,000 plus listing he got. Just from people seeing his marketing videos, seeing the retargeting, he's getting referrals. So it's not just about cold leads, right? It's about getting more business out of the client database and out of the sphere that you already have, right? We've seen agents who, even though they didn't generate a bunch of new leads, when they used this platform marketing strategy, that they actually added over $100,000 a year in GCI to their business just by getting more referrals, right? So even if you're not generating a bunch of new leads, if you just want more business out of your current sphere and get more referrals, this is the way to do it, right? I'm gonna skip a couple of these slides, guys, and I'm gonna get to the very end here. This is my final slide, fishing upstream. This is the final analogy that I typically use just to illustrate what high-hanging fruit 
means as a marketing strategy and how it's so different from what all the other realtors in your market are doing. So fishing upstream. Imagine that you and some friends are at a river, you know, you're fishing, you cast your lines in, and you're standing, you know, a couple feet away from each other because you're just kind of socially fishing. You're having a good time, you're talking with each other, you know, and so your lines are kind of cast in in the general same area because you're only standing a couple feet away from each other, right? What happens though is that if 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 that's how you're standing, right? You're basically competing against each other for the same fish. Right? It's a zero sum game at that point. For you to win, for you to catch a fish, that's now a fish that your friend can't catch because you're fishing from the same area. Right? So for you to win, someone else has to lose. It's a zero sum game if you're all competing in the same area for the same fish. But what would happen if you walked, let's say, 100 feet upstream and you cast your line in there? Well, you would, you would catch all the fish before they ever even got downstream to where everyone else was fishing. Right? You'd basically be intercepting all the fish before your friends ever even had a chance, right? Because you're fishing upstream. You have a monopoly <laughs> on the fish at that point. There's no competition 100 feet upstream. It's the same thing in your real estate business. If you just go 100 feet upstream, right? And you build a high hanging fruit marketing system that's getting leads that are maybe ready to go in 90 days. So it's late November right now. What if you exclusively try to get leads that are ready to go in January and February versus worrying about getting a closing, you know, in the next two weeks, right? Because that's unrealistic anyways. If you build a high hanging fruit marketing system that's getting the leads that are ready to go in January or February, right now in November, there's no competition for those leads. You're fishing upstream. So you have a monopoly on those leads. And perhaps more importantly, once you generate the leads using these high hanging fruit style ads, you are going to be the only real estate agent that they're talking to, right? You basically have a two month head start to build a relationship with the leads over all the other realtors. You're giving yourself a two month head start. So that's why the, the lead conversion rate uh, on these leads is so much higher because you have a monopoly on their attention, right? You're the only realtor they're talking to. But when you buy low hanging fruit leads, you know, from Zillow or Boomtown, Sync, or, you know, you're calling expireds, that's what everyone else is doing. And so even if you get lucky and you get them on the phone, they probably also talk to half a dozen other realtors that same week, right? Because Zillow sold their contact information to multiple people or, you know, a dozen other real estate agents also called them when their listing expired, right? Or even showed up to their door in person. And so the success of high hanging fruit, the system works to convert more leads because you have no competition. Imagine building a marketing system where you're fishing upstream, you have all the fish to yourself and you're generating leads that no other real estate agent is even talking to, right? That's why this works so well, all right? That's why this works so well. So guys, thank you for joining us on the webinar this morning. Um, I'm gonna give you some quick instructions. Here's how to get a free copy of the book. Go to freehighhangingfruitbook.com, all right? So I actually have the wrong URL up here. It's freehighhangingfruitbook.com. It's not www.highhangingfruitbook.com. It's www.freehighhangingfruitbook.com. Dot com. I just noticed when I was starting the webinar this morning that that link wasn't working. And so our team in the background, while I was doing this webinar, we actually created a new one for you, but I didn't have time to update the slide because the webinar was already starting. And so um, to get a free copy of the book, again, we'll actually send you a real book in the mail. It's not an e you know, ebook or a PDF download. We're actually going to send you a real book in the mail. To get that free book, it's www.freehighhangingfruitbook.com. All right, that's how to get the free book and we'll send it to you totally free. We will even pay for the shipping. So there's no hidden, you know, no hidden shipping costs, no catch or anything. We'll even pay for everything, the shipping and all that, right? Free high hanging fruit book.com. Now I want to share with you an extra bonus on top of that free book that personally I think is a hundred times more valuable than us just sending you a free book, right? Because us sending you a free book is just more information, right? It's an extra book you can read. Hopefully you take action on it, but what I know is a lot of people won't. And so what would you say if I told you that in addition to sending you a free copy of the book, we're gonna make you an offer where we will do your marketing for you. We will build all the ads for you. We will build the marketing campaigns for you, and we're gonna offer you a trial month, okay? That's what platform marketing is. Platform marketing is actually a marketing agency where we specialize in working with realtors. We set up all your ads for you. We set up 
the Facebook ads, the Facebook retargeting, the Instagram retargeting. We send text messages to your leads. We send emails to your leads. Uh, we even edit all of your videos for you and we'll send direct mail to the leads as well. And so that's why all these realtors I've shared in this, in this uh, webinar, they're getting such great results with this high hanging fruit marketing system is because we are actually running all the marketing for them. All they have to do, like I said earlier in the webinar, all they have to do is follow up with the warm leads and talk to them and set appointments because in the background, we're doing all of kind of the ground level marketing work for them. We are sending out postcards to their leads. We're sending out text messages. The platform team is sending out emails. We are sending out, um, you know, retargeting ads on Instagram, on Facebook. And so all they have to do is follow up with leads that were already warmed up by the platform marketing system. All right. So here's just one example of a client who's been working with us. This is Brittany Obi. She's in the northern suburbs of Atlanta. Here's the results that she's got so far working with platform. Hey, I just want to give a real quick update on how my platform business has been over the last two weeks. Um, I've actually been able to get four of my platform clients under contract, ready to close within the next 30 to 45 days. In the pipeline, I have well over two and a half million in volume that hopefully will be closing within the next 60 days. Uh, this is definitely the best decision that I've ever made in my real estate business. Thanks so much, platform. All right. So what I need you to know is that we only work with one agent per city. To find out if your city is available, go to www.theplatformmarketmap.com. All right, theplatformmarketmap.com. This link also wasn't working, so we had to quit create a new one. And so it's not www.platformmarketmap.com, it's www.theplatformmarketmap.com. All right, so you have to add the word the www.theplatformmarketmap.com and we'll let you know if your city is still available. All right. Um, one thing that platform does very, very differently from all the other marketing companies like Curator or Boomtown or Commission Zinc or Ylope, I mean, all these companies, right? We only work with one realtor per city, not one realtor per zip code. I want to be very damn clear on that. Not per zip code, per city. So this is Jeff. Jeff is in Cincinnati. Jeff Williamson gets the entire Cincinnati uh, area including the suburbs that he works in, right? So Jeff gets all of Cincinnati, not just one neighborhood or not just one zip code. So when I say that platform is exclusive to one agent per area, it's not just one zip code. He gets the entire Cincinnati area, right? With hundreds of thousands, actually Cincinnati is probably more than a million people, right? So we are insanely exclusive. We only work with about a hundred realtors around the country right now because we focus on quality over quantity, right? That's what gets you such good results is that you will be the only realtor in your entire city who's working with platform because that's how exclusive we are. It's not just one zip code, you get your entire city, right? We have a client in San Antonio, same thing. They don't just get one zip code, they get all of the San Antonio area, right? The entire area. In that same area, there's hundreds of agents that are buying leads from Zillow. You know, there's dozens of agents using Sync and Boomtown and Curator, but they are the only one who gets to work with platform because we grant them 100% exclusivity over all of Cincinnati, all of San Antonio, all of Nashville, right? We give you your entire city. So to find out if your market is still available, go to www.theplatformmarketmap.com. It's theplatformmarketmap.com. Make sure you add the T-H-E, the, www.theplatformmarketmap.com. And if your market is available, we're gonna give you an incredible deal uh, being, you know, uh, Black Friday, which just last Friday, um, we're going to give you a trial month where we will set up all of your marketing for you, launch all your ads on a trial month. All right. So check this out. This is Jeff telling his story. This video was filmed just a couple weeks ago this month, right? November, 2018. This is the results that Jeff got this month in November, 2018 from platform. So imagine that you decide to give this a try on a trial month and you get results like this in December. How good would you feel, you know, going into Christmas if you already had this many closings lined up for December of 2018? November, which is normally my slower time of year. Um, and I have four pending transactions that are closing uh, this month. And I got a new listing recently that came from someone who just found me from my online presence. Um, a lot of the, the current pendings, one, two, three, all Three out of the four came from platform. Um, and right now I have another uh, deal on the board right now, which would be my highest sale. It's a $650,000 uh, 
offer a property, um, we're currently negotiating with the bank as a foreclosure, um, will be my highest sell. And this person opted in um, back in May from an acreage homes list. Um, we've looked at enough houses and obviously submitted a couple offers on properties. And this goes through, it'll be my highest sell. It's a $16,000 commission. And they're going to be selling their home that they currently live in um, next spring. And that's a $325,000 home. So there's another um, $10,000 or so in commission right there. Um, so it works. So that's pretty cool. I also want to give you an update that just a week after Jeff filmed this video and sent it to us, because keep in mind, he filmed this this month. Jeff told me that their offer was accepted on that $650,000 buyer. It was a buyer that came from the platform marketing campaigns we set up. So they are under contract on that house right now. And you know, November is normally the slowest month of the year for Jeff. And he has that many closings. He's, he's super, super stoked. So again, it's the platform market if you want to see if your market is available and get set up on that trial month where we will build all your marketing campaigns for you. Um, we will even, we will even edit your videos for you. So platform is really a full blown marketing department for you. You know, it's so it's it's not really like curator where you're basically paying for a website, or it's not like Boomtown or Commission Zinc where you're getting a website and a CRM, right? We really become your full blown marketing department. Not only will we set up all of your lead gen ads, all of the retargeting ads on both Facebook, Instagram, you know, we're sending out follow up emails and text messages to your leads. We're also going to edit all of your videos for you. And so if you have new listings coming up every month, we will edit the video footage on your new listings. We will edit any other content marketing video ideas you have of like, you know, top five mistakes that home buyers make or my top 10 tips for sellers thinking about selling their house in 2019. We edit all those videos for you. And so it's like having an online marketing agency and people doing, you know, the initial follow up for you and we're even editing all of your videos for you. Did I mention that we send direct mail to your leads too? So in addition to getting emails, text messages and all that, part of how we convert the leads is that we realize that a lot of companies out there, they're only online marketing. All they do is online marketing. So all it is is, you know, getting clicks to your website and sending emails. But what we noticed is that it can increase the lead conversion if in addition to obviously seeing your retargeting ads on Instagram and Facebook, if we're also sending out physical direct mail in their mailbox, right? And so one thing we do for our clients is we also send direct mail. So it is a full blown marketing agency where if someone you know clicks on one of your ads as a realtor, they're going to be seeing retargeting videos from you on Instagram, on Facebook, they'll get emails from you, they'll get text messages, and they'll actually get real direct mail in their mailbox, right? So you will stand out amongst all other realtors and soon develop a brand in your area as being, you know, the top agent. And so here's another example of someone. This is a video. Again, I'm showing you this specific video because it was filmed this month. This is not like a year old or two years old. This video was filmed this month in November 2018 of an agent who has more than doubled her business this year directly because of platform. And this month, which is, you know, obviously normally a slower month for most agents, she has a $600,000 closing because of a lead she got from platforms market. So this is Heather. I'll show you, uh, I'll show you her video here in a second. Reminder, if you want to get results like this, first you have to see if your market is available because we only work with one realtor per market. So this is Heather. She's in the San Antonio area. Um, unfortunately, if you're in the San Antonio area, I apologize. We can't work with you because that's where Heather works, right? So we are very strict. We only work with one realtor per city, right? Not just per zip code, but per city. So the first step to get set up on that trial month is just to see if your city is available. To see if your city is available, go to www.theplatformmarketmap.com. Make, make sure you type in the, www.theplatformmarketmap.com. So about a year and a half ago, I was in somewhat of a predicament. Um, I had been doing real estate for almost three years, and I felt like I had reached all of my family and friends. I had helped them buy and sell, and I was kind of at a standstill. Um, that's about the time that platform came into my life. And you guys, I started generating very high quality leads and actually closing them. And now, a, a little over a year later, I'm seeing even more of that high hanging fruit come through. I have a $600,000 closing scheduled for November 30th. Um, so, platform's been a game changer for me for sure. And um, I've doubled my um, volume from 2017 to 2018. And I look to just continue to do that with platform. That's awesome. I mean, I. I, I love hearing stories of someone who didn't just grow their business a little bit, they actually doubled because that completely changes her life and her family's life and you have that much more money coming in. Um, 
every month. And so her name is Heather. If you want us to uh, give you her contact information, we'd be happy to do that if you want to do some research um, uh, on this marketing system. So again, it's www.theplatformmarketmap.com. Here's another example of a realtor who's had success recently this year. So it's not an old testimonial. It's a new testimonial. Um, this is Megan. She's in kind of the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And if, if you want to get results like this, www.theplatformmarketmap.com. Hi, it's Megan Butler here. I just wanted to give an update on my progress with Platform. I've been with them for about two months now and have well over 500 people in my uh, pipeline to start working with and converting. I have actually three closings for the month of August alone just from platform. I have a buyer and then I also have a listing who purchased as well through me. Um, and believe it or not, he has actually trusted me to now work with his mother and his sister when they move to Texas here within the next four to six months to purchase homes for them too. So it's pretty amazing. One of my first prospects within two weeks of being with Platform was a listing, a purchase, and now two referrals alone. So I am super happy. Um, I'm really excited to see what the future holds for me and Platform. I have two other listings that I am working with um, to get their houses uh, up on the market, hopefully here within the next um three or four weeks and um, they've started to look at purchasing homes in my area as well. And I'm excited to see where um, my real estate journey goes from here. It's nothing but up so far with platform. And I'm so excited that I joined and started working with this family. And if you're on the fence about doing so, go ahead and take that step and uh, <laughs> look into them. They've been completely amazing to me and it won't disappoint you. Again, so if you want to get set up on that trial month where we will build all of your marketing campaigns for you, right? You don't have to know anything about advanced Facebook ads or Instagram ads or email marketing or retargeting code or uh, text message marketing. We have built a marketing system behind the scenes where we will do all that for you. And like I said, we'll even edit all of your videos for you. So if you want to start filming, two or three videos every month, like market update videos, listing tour videos. Now you won't have any excuses anymore because we will even edit all of your videos for you. It's like having a full blown personal marketing department. You know, other agents tell us that, um, or I, I should say agents in platform tell us that when they joined that they had, uh, you know, agents in their office asking them, how are you finding the time to edit all these videos? I see you constantly coming out with new videos and you're building a brand and, you know, uh, they tell them like, well, I have a team now that edits all my videos for me. And that team they're referring to is obviously platform marketing, but their competition can't, can't work with platform because they have exclusive rights on the market. So again, we only work with one realtor per area, right? So if you're in um, Orlando, Florida, you get the entire Orlando area, right? Not just one zip code. Or if you're in Fargo, North Dakota, you get the entire Fargo area, not just one zip code. Right? You get your whole city. So we're extremely exclusive. And so the first step to get your trial month going is first just find out if your market's available. So it's www.theplatformmarketmap.com. Again, make sure you add in the T-H-E, www.theplatformmarketmap.com. Right? We'll get you set up on a trial month. We'll build all your campaigns for you. Most agents, just so you know, in your trial month, you will get over 100 leads in your trial month, right? So it's not a trial month where it's kind of like a BS um, teaser where we're not really showing you the full system. It is a full blown marketing month where you will get over a hundred leads in that very first month. So just imagine how good your January and your February is going to go in terms of appointments and you know getting leads under contract and ultimately closings if in the month of December you're able to generate a hundred leads, right? That's what we're offering you right now on a trial month. So to get set up on that trial month, it's www.theplatformmarketmap.com, right? Theplatformmarketmap.com. Here's how quickly we can get agents results. This is Jessica Hines. She's a realtor out in Oregon. And these are the, these are the results that Jessica got in her very first month, even on that trial month using the platform. So these are the results she got in her trial month. Last weekend, I put my first platform lead under contract. They bought a home at the $400,000 um, price point. So that's pretty good for, for a first lead, I would say. 
Um, I have six more buyers that are in the pre-buying process that I'm working with, getting them going. Um, also two buying cells and one unicorn. What's a unicorn? Well, to me, this unicorn is she just got married and she is um, going to be selling her home, selling her new husband's home, and they're going to be buying a home together. So that one is a pretty exciting one. I'm super stoked. I'm a pretty optimistic person, but this even exceeded my expectations um, going in for sure. Uh, blown away. They have a good system in place. Follow it. Like, make your calls. The client I put under contract, I called her. So uh, that's really important. Awesome. So again, all that happened in Jessica's very first month using the platform system. So www.theplatformmarketmap.com and we can get you set up on that trial month. The cool thing is also platform has no contracts whatsoever. So you're not locked into 12 months or six months. Um, pretty much unlike all, all the other marketing companies out there, we feel that our marketing actually works. And so why would we have to lock you into a contract? If the marketing actually works because if the marketing actually works you would never quit right because you don't want to give up your market to some other agent because we only work with one agent per city right and the marketing actually works and so we are so confident that we're not just willing to say that we're actually willing to not have contracts like we put that much trust in our own marketing that we don't feel the need to lock anyone into a contract so it's totally month to month um totally month to month no contracts whatsoever and we're willing to offer you a trial month because we know that the results you get in your very first trial month will be so impressive that hopefully you become a client for life. That's how we've built our business to this point. You know, we don't spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on marketing. It's just that we get our clients' results and they refer people to us. They, you know, they watch the webinar like you're watching right now, and then we typically get lifetime clients from it. And so, uh, to, to to try us out. Right, no contracts whatsoever, no contracts, no risk, and we're going to offer you a trial month. Go to www.theplatformmarketmap.com. Here's Danny. Danny has added almost two hundred thousand dollars in GCI to her business directly thanks to platform. Over, or I should say, I think it's one hundred eighty thousand. So one hundred eighty thousand in GCI directly from platform to her business. Here's her story in her own words and uh, why she thinks that you should definitely take advantage. Uh, of this trial month offer. Danny, I am a realtor in Texas. If you're watching this, it's probably because you're interested in the platform trial month. Um, I have to tell you, you would be crazy not to take them up on that. When I started with platform about 18 months ago, I didn't get a trial or any kind of discount, but it has hands down been the best investment I ever made in my business. Um, when I first started with them, I was doing about probably uh, 100000 um, in income, so about four, a little over, about $4 million in um, GCI, or excuse me, in production. Um, now, today, after being there a little over a year, year and a half, I have doubled, almost quadrupled that, um, and we'll do about two seventy five in GCI this year. And so again, to use the same marketing system that Danny's using, www.theplatformmarketmap.com. Actually hired my first buyer's agent, and I also have been a part-time administrative person. So um, it's just been a really good decision, and um, to be able to try it out for a discounted price is awesome, and I wish I would have gotten to do that. Um, but you know, I still made an incredible return on that investment. So I definitely um, would highly recommend it. And I know that uh, I know that some people on here are having problems with the links right now. I'm not quite sure what's happening, but they should work for you now. So www.theplatformmarketmap.com. What I'll also do is I'll have Mitch email all of you on this webinar a direct link um, to that, and so that you can sign up there to see if your market is available. I'll have Mitch email you all directly. So www.theplatformmarketmap.com. So here's just another video you know, where Danny said that you know it's grown her GCI by almost $200,000 a year from before she started platform. So that's pretty cool. Here's the story I mentioned earlier where Jose didn't just double or triple. He actually quadrupled his GCI thanks to platform. Hey, guys, if you're still skeptical about high-hanging fruit, 
Let, let's just break down the numbers real quick. In 2013, I did 25 deals. I then implemented high hanging fruit platforms so that you know, in 2014, I went from 25 to 50 deals. In 2015, I went from 50 deals to 70 deals, baby. And now in 2016, I'm making over 100 transactions so that you know. And now that I have my team in place in 2016, just imagine what I'm going to do in 2017. Make it a phenomenal day. So like I said, Jose didn't just double or triple. He actually quadrupled his GCI using the platform system. So uh, to use the same marketing system that Jose uses, go to www.theplatformmarketmap.com com www.vplatformmarketmap.com to see if your market is still available or if we already have a client in your area. It's www.theplatformmarketmap.com, right? www.theplatformmarketmap.com. Here's another video that this was actually filmed in November 2018. So this is Krista Gill. She's kind of in like the suburbs of Indianapolis. You can see kind of the Colts, the Colts flag in the background there. Um, um, she's an Andrew Luck fan. So um, but this video was filmed this month, right? November, 2018. And just listen to the results that Chris has been getting, even in kind of a cold winter month in a Midwest state, right? Again, www.theplatformmarketmap.com. Standing in front of what's hoping to be my fourth and even my fifth closing and with platform, actually. I got this listening with platform and I'm so excited. I mean, it's definitely been an awesome ride with Platform. The Platform family is great. And I'm not just saying that. I wouldn't be standing out here, what is 33 degrees today here in central Indiana. And my main market is Hamilton County. And I'm telling you, it it's it's a great, great company. And it's, it's, it's so worth it. Yes, I work hard. I do the videos. I work my follow-up. I make the phone calls. I send the emails but it really does work and it pays off and your hard work will re will send you returns. And the relationships that you'll build with other agents in the company is, is so worth it. It's, it's amazing. It's a great, great team, a great, great family to be a part of. And so that is Krista. Again, she's in um, the Indianapolis kind of area of Indiana. This video was filmed in November 2018, so this month, and she's getting great results, even going into the slow winter months that are normally the scary time for most realtors, where they really don't have a pipeline of leads. And so um, to try the same marketing system that Chris is using, we're going to offer it to you this morning on a trial month, right? You, you know, we have no contracts either, so no contracts, no risk to see if your market is available and to reserve it before someone else does, right? It is first come, first served. Because we only work with one agent per city. Go to www.theplatformmarketmap.com. I'll also have Mitch send you guys an email um, just so you have that direct link that you can acquire. So www.theplatformmarketmap.com. It is first come, first served. I'm going to skip forward, guys, um, to a couple more of these really cool stories. This is Rob Warwick. He's in North Carolina. And actually, in the first six months he was with Platform, it didn't even take him a year. He already uh, did the tracking on where his leads were coming from. And directly from leads who came from Platform's marketing, he added an additional $100,000 in GCI to his business in the very first six months. I'll talk really quickly about my experience with Platform with them for about six months we've added about a hundred thousand dollars to my gci plenty of leads for next year and uh, really really powerful stuff as far as what tim's able to do and uh, if you're on the fence about the marketing you know quit questioning it it's well worth it the team and tim are great to work with uh, so i have no complaints and uh, we're looking for a better 2018 even though this year's already been a really really productive you know, half a year really with the platform and the whole company so again you know, it didn't even take him a year. In just six months of platform, he directly added an additional $100,000 to his take-home pay. So that's Rob Warwick. He's in North Carolina. Um, if you want more information on getting set up on that trial month, it's theplatformmarketmap.com. www.theplatformmarketmap.com. Uh, I'm going to skip forward to a video here of Danny Springfield. Uh, Danny is a realtor in Texas, and the cool thing is she'll share here she actually gets to spend more time with her family, um, not less, even though she's increased her uh, sales production volume by millions and millions of dollars. I think she's now up almost $10 million in her business and production.
from where she was before platform, but uh, she's actually spending more time with her family, not less, even though things are up almost $10 million. She gets to spend more time with her kids, with her husband, Travis. Uh, they go to their kids' like baseball tournaments every weekend, so she's not like constantly just sitting at open houses all weekends. Um, because of what platform marketing has done for her, it gives her warm leads to call, so she only has to spend her time following up with warm leads, right? So uh, to reserve your market, go to theplatformmarketmap.com. Make sure you type in the, www.theplatformmarketmap.com, and we'll get you set up on a trial month of the same marketing system here that Danny is using. Hi, I'm Danny Springfield in San Antonio. My platform story starts, I've been in business and real estate for about five years when I signed up. I was plateauing at about 13 to 15 million a year. Um, I had another agent on board with me, but I knew that we could get a little bigger and do a little better. Most importantly, I wanted to do that in a scaled fashion. So signing up with Platform enabled me to build my business to about $20 million a year. But where I'm spending more time, I have three little kids, where I'm spending more time with them. My husband actually left his engineering job to join my team. And that has been such a godsend for our family. Our quality of life has increased dramatically. And we owe a lot of that to Platform. Um, the biggest change has been the quality of leads. So you're not spending all your time chasing ones that aren't very good. And maybe even most importantly for me, has been that platform it gets me in front of my sphere um, for referral business. So, so this is really cool because this is what makes platform different from so many other marketing companies is that we're not just getting her cold leads, right? I mean, obviously we're doing that too. Her business is growing a ton, but Danny's also finding that she's getting much more referrals from her existing clients and existing sphere than she was getting before. And obviously those are the best leads because they already kind of know you. It's a much easier transaction when it's a warm referral coming in. So platform has really actually increased her referral business, which means she has to spend less time following up with cold leads and she gets to spend more time with her family. And maybe even most importantly for me has been that platform, it gets me in front of my sphere um, for referral business so easily with very little effort on my part. So I'm a happy client. I'm happy to answer any questions you have. And I'm really just thankful to be part of the platform family. Thanks. Again, that's www.theplatformmarketmap.com. Make sure you type in the, T-H-E, www.theplatformmarketmap.com. All right, here's how quickly, by the way, that you can get results. It doesn't take 60 days or 90 days or six months to get results. You will have leads flowing in your very first week. All right, there's not like a warm up period or a ramp up period. It works right away. This is Jeff Downing. He's a realtor all the way up in Des Moines, Iowa. You can literally see there's a cornfield in the background where he's filming it. Um, and so Jeff talks about the results he got in his very first month. So keep in mind that if you started your trial month here at the end of November, you could have results like this by the end of December, right? All this could happen in your very first trial month and platform has no contract. So that trial month has no risk associated with it. You're not, you know, you're not locked into a six month contract or a 90 day contract or anything like that, right? We have no contracts whatsoever because we believe that our marketing system is so damn good compared to all the other ones out there for realtors that we don't need contracts because our clients stay with us for life without a contract. That's how well the marketing works. So this is Jeff Downing and here's the, res here's the results he got in his very first month using the platform marketing program. Hey guys, Jeff Downing here. Um, I'm in Des Moines, Iowa. As you can see, the corn's growing right behind me, so I am definitely in Iowa. Um, just hit my 30 day anniversary with platform and I want to share with you some of my successes. Uh, first campaign, first night it's going, and I uh, wake up, my phone's got a full contact lead, name, number, address, and then down at the bottom, the most beautiful thing in the world says, yeah, I'm looking to buy a house in the next 90 days. Um, we were able to get their home listed and get them upgraded in house. Both those houses went pending just last weekend, uh, which is about 14,000 in GCI off my first day in my first month here in platform. Um, also had a call, uh, hey, love your video. We're looking to uh, sell our house and upgrade. So just last night was on a listing appointment for 425,000. That's an at bat I would not have had without platform. I've also added literally hundreds of contacts into my drip campaigns and into my SOI. Um, so that's been really, really cool. Um, finally, I love uh, talking to my account administrator once a week. Uh, David, if you're out there, man, you're the best. 
Love chatting with him every Monday. We can look at the effectiveness of the ads, um, my ad spend, and he's also helped me with scripts, when to call back, what to say, email returns. Um, just get rejuvenated to start the week after talking with David um, every Monday. So that's been my experience with Platform. If you want to know more, please look me up. It's www.theplatformmarketmap.com. www.theplatformmarketmap.com. Here's another one of Justin. Justin's one of my all-time favorites. Um, he actually says here in this video that starting the platform program, the platform marketing program, was actually the best business decision he's ever made. His GCI is actually up, since he filmed this video, actually, his GCI is up about $200,000 a year from before platform. So platform directly has added about $200,000 a year to his GCI. I mean, guys, that's that's over $15,000 a month of extra money coming in for him and his family. I mean, that that's a, that that totally changes his life. You know, $200,000 a year um, in increased GCI thanks to platform. So that's pretty cool. That's, that's, that's why Justin said it's the best business decision he's ever made. So www.theplatformmarketmap.com. Hey guys, I'm Justin Liller with Rayleigh Realty at Deep Creek Lake, and I want to share my experience so far since joining Platform. Back in January, I flew down and met with Tim, and he showed me kind of the basics of Platform, which I implemented right away and uh, saw some pretty good success with. So at the end of May, I became a full Platform family member. Um, so it's been a little more than 30 days, uh, maybe 40 days since I joined Platform, and I've seen some really incredible success. Uh, I'm picking up between four and six full contact information leads per day off of the ads that I run on Facebook. Um, I can directly relate three listings back to my Platform ads that I've been running. Um, they range anywhere from $150,000 to $800,000. I have had two closings from that, um, $175,000 closing and another at $850,000. And then I have a property under contract with some folks that opted into one of my ads at $1,550,000. So, you know, it, it's an incredible, incredible value that they offer a platform. Um, the return on investment is going to be absolutely huge. And I could not recommend joining Platform anymore. Like it, it's, it has been by far the best business decision that I have ever made. So I've been implementing the Platform strategy since January, but only been a full Platform member since the end of May. And as of last Friday, I had two closings last Friday. As of last Friday, um, for 2017, I've already exceeded my GCI that I had in 2016. So I have no doubt that this is going to become my best year ever. And I think that, you know, if you follow the strategies that they talk about, it could be anybody's best year ever. You've got to film the videos, you've got to do the follow up and the, the buyers and listings will come. Um, you know, I, it's been incredible. Um, over the holiday weekend, I had five people walk up to me and say, Hey, you're that guy from the Facebook ads, the videos. I watch, you know, I watch all your home tours. I love it. And you know, it's that kind of stuff that maybe doesn't show up in your, in your GCI right away, but over time it will, because people are going to, you know, when they're ready to buy, they're, they're only going to think of you because you've built that trust and you've given them something to, to watch while they're bored at work or sitting at home and they absolutely love it. So anyway, I can't thank platform enough. I, I couldn't be happier. And uh, if you're on the fence about this, just do it. You're, you're not going to regret it. Thanks a lot. www.theplatformmarketmap.com. Make sure you add the, the platform market map .com. In fact, I'm going to actually skip ahead guys. I have, we have so many more. This is a uh, Micah. This is Micah over here. He's in Hawaii. He added over 100K. This is Justin Stewart in College Station, Texas. He had a month last year where he, he, he had $40,000 in GCI from Platform um, in just one month. I'm going to skip ahead to the very last slide here, though. Um, I'm going to update this so we have the correct link on here, theplatformmarketmap.com. And uh, I'll throw this slide on here. This is probably my all-time favorite 
favorite video um, story that we have with platform because this this is an agent um, in a, in a Minnesota who was basically broke before hiring platform. Um, her business just wasn't working. She did not have leads coming in. Uh, she was actually about to lose her house. I'll let her tell her story in her own words, but she was actually about to lose her house because she hadn't had a closing in so long that she was falling behind on her mortgage payments and she knew that the bank was actually about to foreclose on her house pretty soon because she couldn't afford to even pay her own mortgage, which is obviously kind of embarrassing for a realtor, um, the thought of potentially losing your own house back to the bank because you can't afford your own mortgage payments. And so with you know just the last bit of money she had, she invested in the platform marketing program and it worked. Um, she went from being, I mean, literally almost homeless to being the top agent in her area. Um, recently, she won an award for being like the top producing agent at her entire brokerage in the state of Minnesota. She bought a brand new Jeep, a brand new lake home, um, and she's just kicking butt now. So it's just this classic American rags to riches story of someone who didn't have any money going to being like the top producing agent in her entire area. Um, and it's because of platform. I love this story, just the before and after of how platform, uh, frankly, changed her life. This is really damn inspiring. So if you want results like this, check out theplatformmarketmap.com um, to see if your market is available and get set up on a trial month. This is Debbie Kaler's platform marketing story. Um, to use the same marketing system that Debbie used, go to www.theplatformmarketmap.com. Okay, so I love this car. I've always wanted a Jeep Rubicon, always. Never thought I'd be able to get one, especially that I could just write out a check for, actually. But um, I was in platform for about six months when my other car actually blew up and I just kind of thought, what am I doing? I can afford what I want. So drove onto the lot with that wreck and drove off with this Rubicon with only six miles on it, which was a fantastic day. So I want you to meet Debbie Kaler. The platform strategy literally rescued her career. After the housing market crashed, she was struggling to make a living. Now she's driving a brand new car, bought a new lake home, and business is better than ever. Her story is just incredible. So we'll let her share the details. This is the power of the platform strategy. Hi, I'm Debbie Kaler. I'm a realtor in a very small town in West Central Minnesota. Um, population just, just a little over 2,000. So it's a tough market. We have a lot of agents around here. In fact, I would say we are saturated because everybody for some reason thinks that real estate is the fast, easy money, easiest thing you can get into. So I got into real estate in 1990 and I always did pretty well, probably in the top. 10, 15, and then the market crashed. And being a single person, that was tough. I ended up losing my house, my car, um, pawned all my jewelry. I literally had nothing left other than the clothes on my back. So, as I said, Debbie's story is one of the coolest platform stories I've ever heard. After 20 years in the business, things were so slow, she was about to quit real estate entirely and find a new career. She was applying for jobs around the country, just trying to find something to pay the bills. And then she discovered platform. So thinking this is it, I have to get out of real estate permanently, even though I loved it. They found out my story and they said, you know, we have this young guy that does marketing for us, you should give him a try. So I was desperate and I decided, all right, I'm going to meet him. It turns out it was Tim Schumack. And he came over and talked to me and started telling me about platform and I thought this is entirely too good to be true. There's no way anything is that good that's going to take me from about being homeless, literally homeless, to actually being able to stay in this business and make it. But humor me, I'll listen to him. So I meet him. He gave me the good sales pitch. Out of frustration, I hired him. And only because that day in the mail, the very last check had come from my retirement account. Very last check. And I knew it wasn't going to carry me through anyway, so what's the big deal? I might as well gamble. I threw it at him and said, all right, big talker, you think you can do this? Do it. So 
by, th I bet it was three weeks later, um, leads started coming like crazy and they started rolling and I'm not kidding. And pretty soon I didn't have time for that other job I took. I was back into real estate and here we are two and a half years later. And I went from number 47 in my association up to number two. So Debbie went from having no money, literally losing her home, to being the number two agent in her entire association. I love the story. It's such an authentic example of the power of platform. The entire community noticed how quickly Debbie built her brand. Remember, building your business is as simple as building a list of people who trust you. Not just a database, but a list of people who trust you. So one of the fun things with Platform was I had so many friends say, you know, when the market crashed, we thought you were done. That was it. We thought your business was going under, that you were done, no more Debbie. And it's like you came back with a vengeance. All of a sudden we see videos all over the place and your signs are going up all over the place. And now you're really showing other people how it's done. I actually had a couple of my competing agencies come and try to recruit me with their company. So which it's like, no, I turn them down. I mean, they're like, don't you want to work for? And then they'd say their name because they're bigger names in the area. I don't have a big name. You know, Lakes Area Realty, Debbie Kaler Real Estate. And I don't have the big banners, the big balloons, <laughs> anything like that. And it's like, you know what? I don't need you. I'm doing fine on my own. Um, they didn't like that very well, but I've pretty much buried most of them, which is a great feeling. And it's all because of platform. I went from, I said, bottom of the barrel, thinking that I was going under to a place I never thought I would be. And it's because of the marketing. And that happened rather quickly, actually. I would say within three months, people started to make comments about, wow, you came back strong. And by six months, it was, wow. Amazing. So let's take a behind the scenes look at Debbie's office and get a feel for what her daily routine looks like when the leads are flowing in. So I just want to give you a behind the scenes look at what platform has done for me just in this last week. I've gotten three pages of leads. Um, the ones that are crossed off are the ones that I've actually come in contact with, I've had phone conversations with, or even met them for coffee. I've got two listing appointments out of it so far, and um, for sure one buyer, probably two, maybe even three. So it's been great that way. It keeps me busy. It keeps me in contact with people. But I really want to show you personally what it's done for me. So, my dream car was always a Jeep Rubicon, and after working with Platform for, I don't know, about six months, I was finally able to get one, brand new, right off the lot, and it only had six miles on it, so it was glorious. Working with Platform and really working the program, if you work it, it works. So if you've been in it and say that it doesn't work, it's only because you're not doing anything with it. I have proof because what I'm going to show you is the property I was able to buy. And it may not be huge, but it is on a premier lake. It's on Green Lake, which used to be the second purest lake in the world. It's completely renovated. I can't wait to show it to you. So, you know, we're going to go there right now and take a look. You know, I'm reminded of that classic quote from Zig Ziglar. You can have whatever you want in life if you'll just help other people get what they want. This is the very essence of the platform strategy. Just serve people. Before you ever ask for anything, provide value. Be the most helpful real estate agent in your market. As you'll see, it worked for Debbie. And it can work for you too. I paid plenty for it just because it is where it is. Um, but it is a Frank Lloyd Wright house, which does mean something. So I wanted to keep his design. And that's another reason I renovated what was there instead of tearing it down. It is a $500,000 house in a community where everything, you know, the average price is 150. So it's an accomplishment. I just, I never thought I would be able to do that. So we're almost at my 
Humble Cottage. So, not only was I able to buy this new car, but platform also allowed me to buy my new lake home. So, this is the lake home that I bought, and I was able to renovate the whole thing. What we're standing in was actually just a screen porch. Going into the kitchen, I was able to put in all new countertops, new flooring, all new appliances, took out some walls, added some windows, opened up the living room. This was a couple of tiny rooms before. But what really what I love about this place is this epic view of Green Lake. And thanks to Platform, I get to enjoy it every day. Again, if you want to get results like Debbie did, if you want to try a marketing program that's actually different from what all the other realtors in your area are doing, you can get started on a trial month where we will be the only realtor in your area that we work with. Theplatformmarketmap.com. It's www.theplatformmarketmap.com to see if your market is available. It is first come, first serve. Again, we only work with one realtor per market, not just per zip code, but one realtor per market, right? You get your entire city, not just one zip code. So to see if your city is still available, www.theplatformmarketmap.com. And if it's available, we can get you set up on a trial month. No contracts whatsoever, no contracts, no risk. www.theplatformmarketmap.com. All right, thanks guys. I'll have Mitch shoot you another email just with a, 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 a checklist of basically all the things that platform marketing does in our marketing program for realtors. So all the various things we handle for you from the video editing to Instagram ads, Facebook ads, retargeting, email, follow up with your leads, you know, text message, I mentioned the direct mail, um, content marketing that we help you out with, I mean, all that stuff. I'll have Mitch send you an email with just a checklist of everything that platform does. Um, um, so you can check that out as you're doing some research into thinking about, you know, if this is something you want to do in 2019. But again, we are offering a trial month right now um, if, if your market is still available. So www.theplatformmarketmap.com. Thanks, guys.